Margaret Fulcher lives in a secluded Suffolk village an hour's drive from London. She's been breeding, showing and judging hounds for over 40 years. These days, it's whippets that have taken her fancy, and I asked her what it is about these dogs that she loves. Well, the reason I like them is because they have got a lovely temperament. Um, they're very easygoing dogs. Uh, they, um, they'll share bowls of food, they'll share a bone, they'll share anything. Um, they're just really nice dogs to live with. and. If you don't want to go for a walk, they don't want to go for a walk. If you want to go hiking over the fields, so they'll hike over the fields, you know. But and they hate the rain and the cold, so if it's pouring with rain, I'm not going out today. They look outside the door and think, oh, I'm not going out there. <laughs> so they're good in that way. <laughs> you know, you see some people walking down the road in the pouring rain with their dog, don't you? <laughs> but you don't have to do it with these <laughs> because they don't want to go out. If it's nasty, they'd rather be sitting in front of the fire sitting on the settee with you. Yeah. Um, most of the hounds are hunting dogs. Well, I think all of them are. Um, that's what they're all bred for. So I think it's illegal now, but there is still people who do it. Over the, like, uh, here in the country, no one would know. And you go over the field at night and they could easily catch something. I'm not into all that, you know. I don't like all that killing business. <laughs> people think, because they're not obedient, they're not intelligent, but hounds are very independent as a whole and they like to do their own thing and not be told what to do and be mastered really. And so you might let them off and say, come on back, but I think they'll look at you and they'll run around and say, just one more go, you know. <laughs> you can see it in their face, just one more go. They say, come on, no, here. One more go, <laughs> and then they'll go again, and then they'll come back. But they, they've got to do their little bit first, you know. They've got to do what they want to do first. They're not going to... The minute you say it, like, say, a German Shepherd or something, they're there by your side. And my, my, friend, my sister's got a German Shepherd, and she takes it for a walk, and she has to throw things to make it go, leave her side. You know, they won't run and play like these will, but if you take these out, let them off, and they'll run and play and enjoy themselves, and have a lovely time, you know, and then bring them home and they're happy. <laughs> Everything is beautiful about them. Lovely with children, lovely with everybody. You know, they're just lovely nature dogs. So, um, there's no worries at all. They're a real family pet. I've got friends all over the country because you've got the same interests and like talking to you. If you meet somebody who's got dogs, you've got loads to talk about. If you meet people who haven't got dogs, there's not much to say. <laughs> so, you know, it makes you happy, really, because they're always here around you. They're always something to look after. You're not on your own. And they're lovely companions, and it gives you a reason to go out for a walk. You wouldn't want to walk out on your own, really, you know? Um, it's just lovely. I just enjoy them, you know? And all the years I've had them, I've enjoyed them. Never want to do anything different. <laughs> just could get more. <laughs>